Dear all, Assalamu alaikum. Dr. Rafiq Pitafi here with another topic that is the salivary glands. Salivary glands are the special glands that release saliva in our mouth. Salivary glands, you can see here parotid, submandibular gland, and sublingual gland. Parotid located below your external air pinny, submandibular glands located at the start of the mandibles, sublingual glands present one is the parotid, submandibular and sublingual. These are the glands especially for the secretions of saliva. Whatsoever saliva release in your mouth that is because of these three glands that are situated in your mouth at different positions. Parotid glands, parotid glands, largest gland situated inside your mouth, its uh, front of the ear pinny. Each gland weighs about 20 to 30 grams in adult. Secretion emptied into the oral cavity by the stensin's duct, 35 millimeter to 45 millimeter in size. This stensin's gland duct. It open into our mouth at the first molar teeth in your jaws. These parotid glands are responsible to release huge quantity of secretion, especially for the digestion of food material in our mouth. Parotid glands are very important for the secretions point of view, for the digestion point of view because that will help us for the digestion of number of past. Submandibular glands, submandibular glands are the submaxillary glands located maxillary or triangle medial to the medible. Each gland weighs about 8 to 10 grams. Saliva gland saliva put into the Watson's Wartons, Wartons duct, which is about 40 millimeter long. This Watson tuck duct is connected with the free neulum of the tongue that is present at the below of your tongue. That also you can say the crane, carnu, cula, sublinguals, or we can say the summit of the papillae. When we upward the tongue, there is a line like structure that line like structure is known as the line like structure is known as the uh, tongue papillae so this submandibular gland especially that are located at the position of your mandibles or at the start of your mandibles that's why that are known as a submandibular glands and these mandible glands are also very important yet uh, secret more than other secretions more than other glands secretions especially for the digestion of your food material the next one which uh, we have to discuss next one that is the sub mendy sublingual gland third one is the sublingual gland Sublingual glands are the smallest salivary glands situated in the mucosa at the floor of the mouth 2 to 3 grams in weight saliva produced and put into the duct of ravenous of 5 to 15 small ducts these are the connected together and produce put saliva secretion uh, into your mouth duct of the ravenous open on the small papillae beneath the tongue one of the duct larger one that uh, also carry on this one this sublingual gland especially work for the digestion work for the digestive mechanism this uh, you can see the stensense duct parotid gland that's located below our external air pinny
in next one that is the properties of the saliva saliva about 100 milliliter to 1500 milliliter release per uh, secreted per day are approximately 1 milliliter per minute main ducts enter lobular ducts and intra lobular ducts enter calorie ducts and these are the duct like secretions controlling tubes especially for the saliva contribution by each major salivary gland parotid gland release about 25 percent saliva sub maxillary gland release about 70 percent saliva sublingual gland release about 5 percent reactions mixed saliva from all the glands is slightly acidic 6.5 6.35 to 6.85 this is slightly acidic a specific gravity of this one is 1.002 to 1.012 tonicity of saliva is hypotonic to plasma hypotonic to plasma means plasma of blood plasma of blood because it possesses more quantity of water that's why it is more hypotonic means uh, it possesses a more quantity of water than the blood so that's why we, you can see this is more hypertonic than the hypotonic composition of saliva saliva mixed saliva contains 99.5 percent water 0.5 percent solids and gases composition of saliva is given here i'm showing you here see here function of saliva saliva is very essential digestive juice it uh, has many functions it its uh, absence leads to many inconvenience and in the digestion number one that is the preparation of food for the swelling when food is taken into the mouth it moistened and dissolved by saliva mucous membrane of mouth is also moistened by saliva it facilitates chewing by movement of tongue means when we move the tongue that is especially for the mixing of food material with the saliva moistened and masticated food is rolled into the bolus because here mechanical digestion occur by the help of teeth you can uh, break your food by the help of uh, chewing you can masticate your food this masticated food mix up with the water and mix up with the lubrication of mouth, uh, saliva and it will form the bolus bolus roll up by the help of tongue that's known as a bolus and it uh, form the ball like structure when put into the digestion taste uh, and also that release the mucin appreciate of the test taste is the chemical sensation by its solvent action saliva dissolve the solid food material dissolve substances stimulates the taste buds the stimulated taste bud can recognize the taste is like you can see by the help of mechanical digestion we crush the food we masticate the food we mix up food with the lubric um, saliva that is responsible to dissolve your substances this dissolved substances move toward, toward the uh, surface of your tongue that possesses the taste bud that start the um, uh, sensation especially for the taste digestive functions saliva has three digestive enzymes names amylase maltase and lingual lipase especially amylase maltase are the carbohydrate digesting material sublingual lipase is especially for the lipid digestion salivary amylase salivary amylase carbohydrate digestion amylatic enzymes it act on the cooked or boiled starch converted into dextrin maltose though starch digestion start in mouth major part of it occur in the stomach because food stay only for short while in your mouth so mouth is especially uh, start to digest the uh, carbohydrates so here we can see the uh, secretions of saliva that contain materials here 99.5 percent is water solid and gases is 0.5 percent these gases that are the oxygen carbon dioxide 
nitrogen gases are commonly present in dissolved form in organic substances sodium calcium potassium bicarbonate bromide chloride fluoride and phosphate these are the special minerals or you can say the chemicals that are dissolved here and uh, organic substances that is a mucin albumin proline rich protein lactoferrin iga blood group antigens free amino acids non proteinous nitrogenous substances urea uric acid creatinine xanthine hypoxanthine etc and enzymes that are very important that are present here one is amylase tylen maltase lingual lipase lysozyme phosphatase carbonic anhydrase kali crane these are the secretions that are especially concerned with the enzyme secretions so these are the very important components of the saliva that are present in our mouth region so thank you very much keep watching continue this and i'm very thankful to you stay blessed allah face